What really struck me about today's conversation was that we are already living in a different and a new world. We're living in a world where women are much more uh, seen in British politics, and particularly in Scottish politics, when there are far more female MPs and MSPs, but also a real urgent desire for more still. And I thought, among all the problems that women politicians face, in particular the aggression on social media, the rape threats, the death threats, and all the problems they face with male colleagues, there is an optimistic determination that they're going to carry on and they will change both the Scottish Parliament and the Westminster Parliament and through that all our lives. Hello, my name is Ruth Davidson. I'm an MSP here at Holyrood. Uh, and my advice to people who look at politics, who want to be involved but think it's looking pretty toxic right now, would be to, to have a think about what can make it better and what can they do to make it better. Um, yes, it can be tough. Yes, there are days when the, the online hordes of Twitter warriors can get you down. But this is you shaping a country. It's setting the laws for everyone else. It's making things better. And it's only by getting good people in that we can really make the difference. So if you've got it in you, don't let the haters hold you back. You can make a real difference in this country and we need you to come forward. Thank you. Our politics, whether it's at the local or national level, makes fundamental decisions about every aspect of our life. When women are underrepresented, the decisions are not fit for purpose. So we need women to be involved to have better, more competent decision making in our politics. A piece of advice that I would give to women going forward would be to get your political parties to do something for you. Expect them to give you support, expect them to invest in you, expect them to have good reporting mechanisms um, when it comes to online abuse, for example. Make expectations of your party so that they take women's representation seriously. So right now around the world, almost 75% of parliamentarians are men. Uh, and only four countries in the world have equal numbers of women in Parliament or better. So this is a problem. It's a problem for a couple of reasons. One is simply it's about justice. Women are more than half of the population. They should be represented. But also there's the argument that um, women and particularly more gender balanced parliaments, councils, legislatures make a difference in terms of the representation of uh, gender equality and positive change. We need political parties to be doing more to encourage women to stand, help them through their selection process. We need women who are in politics now to be giving a hand up to other women, making sure that we get women in, not just to sit beside us, but actually to get ahead of us. We need to make sure that the media are giving more privilege to women's voices. We need to make sure that the language that we use is better. We've talked a bit today about how emotional language is used and how women, when they're being quite close to are described as being bossy, whereas men are described as being determined. So our language needs to change. There's so much that can be done. But my advice to you, if you're thinking of standing, is absolutely do it. And it can be terrifying and there's a lot of hurdles, but if you need help, ask for it, ask your party, ask your community. But the main thing is to do it and to be bold.